make a commitment to be a better rider at every single chance you can get. Hey everybody, in today's video on Boots and Jeans Riders, we're gonna talk about practice. I am out by myself today, and my name is Rich, in case you didn't know. Cake is not riding with me today. In today's video, we're gonna talk about practice. But let me tell you this, practice does not make perfect. Yeah, you heard it correctly. Practice does not make perfect. What practice does, practice brings progress. The more you practice and you see progression, the better you are going to get. And the fun is going to be. You're going to have more fun when you become a better rider. And what we're talking about today in this video is basically your slow skills. Slow riding skills where you are in full control of your motorcycle. Not the motorcycle being in control of you. We call it the three C's, command, control, and confidence. When you're in command of what you do, you're in full control of your motorcycle, your confidence rises to a level of more fun. Your confidence rise, the safer you are, the more fun it is riding your motorcycle. And so we practice a lot, and people ask us a lot of questions on practicing. And the first thing I ask people is, why don't you practice? And the biggest reason we get is they don't have a location to practice, which for us, you see a parking lot, just pull over and practice. If somebody run you out, so be it. And the second reason is time. <laughs> time. I do not have time to practice. You have time to jump on a motorcycle, which is one of the most dangerous sports, hobby, or lifestyle that you can have. But you don't, ooh, it's beautiful back here. I'm loving it because, you know, California, we don't get too much green. We had a little rain. And it, these rolling hills look fantastic while I'm riding these twisties. So let me get back into the topic. Time. Now, from what I know, every man alive on this planet, since time has been recorded by man, we have one thing far as time concerned and one thing in common far as time concerned. And that is, we all have 24 hours on in a day. Now, I know people get busy, but my day is not 28, 29 hours. My day also is 24 hours. It's how you manage your time that count. So when it comes to practice, that's something that you really have to do. You really have to be dedicated to want to become a better slow rider. In fact, let me show you something I'll talk about control. I'm going straight right now. I'll take my hands off the handlebar, the bike gonna go straight. My hands are off the handlebar, it's gonna go straight. I gotta put it back on because the turn coming up. But that's because I'm doing 40 miles an hour. Let that bike go down to 10, even 15 miles an hour. You will have to have full control. And by full control, I'm talking about you really need to dial in the friction zone. And forward control means everything. The friction zone, the rear brake, looking where you want to go. You know, I call that the number one rule in motorcycle. Look where you want to go. All these things come into play when you're talking about full control and not using that front brake and slow maneuvers. But the biggest question that comes up is how often should I practice and for how long? Those two questions more than anything else. How often should I practice and how long? And we're gonna answer those questions. And that's why dedication come into play. Schedule your practices. Dedicate yourself to it, especially those of you who have riding seasons, because you know motorcycle riding, just like any skill, is perishable if you can't do it on a consistent basis. It is perishable. No matter how good you are, you're gonna diminish some of those skills if you don't use them. I mean, it happens in all walks of life. Any professional ball player or sports, 
anybody play professional sports, the less they practice and they start thinking they're too good, then their skills perish. That's why I say practice doesn't make perfect. Practice brings progression. And I'm gonna keep it real. If you think you are perfect, especially riding motorcycles, let's be for real about it. There's no need for you to go out and practice because you already have everything. As much as we practice, as much as I like to think I'm a good rider, there's always something for me to learn. So let's stop beating around the bush and answer those two questions. How often should you practice? And how long should your practice go? Let's start with how often. I believe this, a minimum once a week, which takes dedication. And we're gonna talk about what if you don't have that once a week or the time I'm gonna give you. Once a week, and at once a week, I say schedule yourself at least two and a half hours. Some people say it's as little as possible is fine. And I believe that also, hold on, let me get all travel slow down. There's nothing behind me. Look at this rock here, painted like a turtle. <laughs> he pants it every day. There's another one that's painted like an eye. I just always forget exactly where it is. I think it's before the turtle. But anyway, and that, that's fine also. But if you really want to get serious at it, I mean, you don't have to go five, 10 hours. The more obviously the merrier. But I say two and a half hours. And within those two and a half hours, not including going to your practice location. It's, and it doesn't include setting up cones if you set up cones. It includes the practice itself. And within those two and a half hours, give yourself time to take two breaks, maybe two 15 minute breaks to take a break, evaluate what you're doing, how are you doing. Cool your bike down if you need to. Let that clutch rest. Because we're talking about slow riding. I'm gonna be on the friction zone a lot. And then get back on the bike and do what you gotta do. Now the next part of this is, if you do not have two and a half hours to practice, and I'm gonna tell you what Cake and I do a lot, and I know a lot of people do it because I've seen it in a comment section of our videos. However, if you don't have two and a half hours, then I would say practice at least, and this is at least two days a week at 10 to 15 minutes a session. Because sometimes I go in a, in, a, in a parking lot, I think I'm gonna be in a parking lot about an hour, two hours later, Kate calling me and making sure everything's okay because I'm having that much fun, improving on my skills, my confidence is, is still up. I am having a great time. Maybe I'll do a pattern, bring you guys videos of what we just practiced, all these type of things. So go out there and practice. Now, like I said about time, you gotta manage your time. And if you are working hard, that's understandable. But if you're gonna get on that bike, you gotta get some practice in so you can be a better, safer, smarter rider. Command control equal confidence. And I'm talking about control, I'm talking about full control over your bike. At high speeds, you still wanna control your bike, but there's really not much you need to do. When you're doing a low speed, there's a lot that you need to be practicing on. Now, what I'm talking about, I see a lot of riders do based on the comments and talking to people is, if you have a scheduled ride, whether you plan it or not, let's say the ride is going wherever it's going and it, you have to meet up around 7 a.m. and you're 15 minutes from the meetup location. How about leaving a half hour early? You pass a little parking lot or maybe a dead end street, go get you some practice in. That way it'll be fresh in your head just in case you need it on that particular ride. And that's great because I know a lot of people do it and we do it a lot. We organize a lot of rides and just before getting to the meetup location, we'll do a little practice. Not a lot, no five, 10 minutes in it. Which leads me to the final part of the question part of this video is what should you be practicing? What should you be practicing? First thing is, any course that you're taking up, anything that you're taking up in a course, whether it's an advanced level course, high speed course, anything, those are the things you need to be practicing. Because when you're taking up those courses, they're bringing you the basics. And when we're talking about slow riding, everybody nemesis always seem to be the U-turns. 
It doesn't have to be a tight U-turn. Use the parking lot spaces. Make you a 27 foot U-turn. Then start breaking it down as you need to break it down. Just to familiarize yourself with the basics of U-turning and using the friction zone. And every little bit helps. So that's what I'm talking about, the U-turn. The next thing I would suggest that you practice, and this one thing that we always practice in, is a major, major safety thing. And that is emergency braking and swerving around an object. All these things you're doing, you do not need cones to do. And the last thing I would say, and you can use the lines in the parking lot for all of these things, is the last thing would be sharp right and left turns. Now, I would say right more than left, but both of these turns can help you out in any given situation when you're on the street. When you're making right turns, a lot of people go over and go into the next lane because either they're going out too fast, or they'll make a right turn and don't power through. Left turn is normally easier because you have a lot more room to turn left depending on the type of street you are. But both sharp and right left turns will set you up, for example, if you're going into a parking space that's not slanted, obviously, and you don't swing out wide enough, you need to make that sharp turn into parking space. Those are where those slow skills come into handy. Especially the U-turns. You know, you've been at a gas station before and that pump that you just pull in is inoperable and you have to go to the next pump and you don't want to have to go all the way around because somebody might take that pump before you get to it just make a u-turn in that in that gas station and get right to that pump your slow riding skills will come to big in the handy so this is the answer to why you need to be practicing go out there and practice Make a commitment to be a better rider at every single chance you can get. Be in command. Be in full control. Get that confidence level up. Practice brings progression. I hope you like this video. Hope you got something out of it. If you haven't subscribed already, you like these type of videos, go ahead and subscribe. Once you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we come out with more videos anyway that's all i have for right now but if you are riding remember ride long ride hard ride strong but most importantly ride safe from boots and jeans riders i'm rich and i'm out peace go practice <laughs>